That thing ain't going nowhere, son. That thing ain't going nowhere. Where you going? Nowhere. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Big B here with Ironclad RC. Thank you guys for riding with me. Uh, today we got something a little bit different on the block. Uh, working on a boat trailer for the Delta Force 35. Uh, it's a full aluminum RC boat trailer I've been working on the past couple of days. I figured it was time to let you guys in on the project. Uh, we're going to be using the Wraith to pull it. Actually, in the video, we're going to be uh, permanently attaching the trailer hitch to the wraith, installing a, a winch pole on the trailer, and running boards to hold the boat in place. I'll kind of do a walk around with you a little bit later on. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Big B with Ironclad RC. give you guys a real quick rundown of the trailer uh, before we kind of get started installing the rails and putting the winch pole on now what I did was I, I took my Delta Force and I basically traced a pattern out on a piece of poster board it was a good starting point and I basically just kind of laid my my poster board out on the on the bench here and got my bins you can see it kind of fits my pattern to a T. Uh, used half inch angle, half inch channel, and uh, just basically threw nut and bolted the whole trailer together. Loctited it as I went. Um, I, I, I used, uh, I think this is half inch. It's kind of thick, bracing the trailer up. And I bent like a v-shape in it so that the boat will slide right on there and it kind of looks scale uh, when i bent this v and bolted on my angle it kind of threw off my sides it's not uh vertical like it should be and i wouldn't change this for the world i think it looks cool like that so i had to actually compensate this angle when i made my leaf spring so what I did was I used a piece of 90 degree steel, I put it in my vise and bent it so that my axle will sit in the leaf springs perfect and it's not like cocked out at an angle. And I probably later on I might make some fenders for it but for right now we're just going to put the running boards on and the winch pole and go ahead and mount up the trailer hitch uh, this is actually a piece of aluminum from a ladder like i had an old ladder that got ran over and uh you know that hooks the ladder onto itself as you push the extended ladder up and i just kind of cut this little section out it's beefy it's cool looking and it works so we're going to permanently attach that onto the wraith for our tow hitch and uh, basically just going to use a, a screw with a nut on top as my ball <laughs> so yeah yeah that's kind of how i got here and uh yeah we're going to start working on these uh the rails now i've already measured out strikes it's four and a half inches four and a quarter inches so what I'm doing is I've got some uh, aluminum that I've cut. It's like a, it was actually a U-channel, but I've cut it in half. And we're going to use that. I've marked out my spot 
I used my scribe for most of this trailer. I didn't even measure anything. Put a couple screws in that, maybe two, one here, one here, and um, and then we'll attach the running boards. My dad was a outboard motor mechanic. I, I grew up around boats, and I don't know what a trailer looks like by now. There's something wrong with me. I've always wanted to build a trailer for for my boat. I'm excited about this, y'all. I'm excited about this. Just one more thing to drag around though, huh? Let's check it with the boat on there. Oh yeah, we need some guide poles off the side too. So when we pull the boat on the trailer, it'll slide right on there. All right. So gotta make a little adjustment. It's kind of the nice thing about aluminum. You can bend it to shape and it holds its shape pretty good. All right, let's see how that works. A little bit more. Yeah. Bottom lifting strike. I've got it sit right in that bottom lifting strike there. That's gonna work good. Trailer the boat, so see how it slides on. Yeah, 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 that's perfect. I'll probably put me like a little roller or something right here to prevent the, the bottom of the V from hitting that piece of aluminum. We definitely don't want that. So It looks pretty slick, y'all. That looks pretty damn slick if you ask me. Yep. Put a, a guide pole right here, you know, some so that we can pull the boat on the trailer. It'll just kind of bounce itself in there. And let's start working on this winch pole. Huh? All my scrap aluminum here. Let's see, look, let's see if this would work. See if I cut that circle in the middle. It might work. It looks kind of cool, tough looking. Let's see what else we got. Maybe I could use this for it. Let's see. Ah, when I first got into boating, I built my own boat, my first boat, which was actually this boat here. That green one was my first one. But I made a couple of propellers, <laughs> welded them together. Uh, you see where they're at. Didn't even balance them. And I wonder why my, my motor blew up. Oh, look, there was my first strut. <laughs> Could just do something simple. You know? It's actually a pretty tough piece of metal. Oh, never mind. Broke it. I think this will work. Let's go right over the old C channel. Let's see where the boat, let's see where it needs to be at. Okay, so. Yeah, right there would probably work good. Here, here, and here, basically. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. I wonder how I should angle it. I think it looks tough when you angle it like that. Looks cool. <laughs> yeah, I was going to use this carbon arrow shaft, like a bow and arrow shaft for my, my axle, but I figured you guys would laugh at me, so I didn't use it. It would have been quiet. 
I didn't want to get laughed at. Picked on using flex, flex glue, flex seal. I had mentioned I hated flathead screws. <laughs> Things we do for our hobby. There we go. Now let's check the, the boat. Let's put the boat on it. Let's check the boat. Look, boss. The boat. The boat. Nice. <laughs> Gotta get that running board right so she'll go on there straight every time. Close, close. That's where I ran into my wife's homemade boat. I speared her cowling and took a chip off my bow and I put a hole straight through her cowling of her boat. I should have posted it, but I don't, I don't post cool shit like all these other cool guys out there. Yeah, I clad that bitch out, son. All right, so I'm gonna flip the trailer over and beat this over. Iron clad it out. should keep it from moving so we get it welded up. So I went ahead and cut that little piece, that little extra piece off here, and I'm using these 90 degree. I'm gonna put this pin in there. It's gonna be as, used as my roller, and I'm gonna cover it with this uh, silicone tube, and then use a rivet pin to beat down uh, to keep it in place. Just like that. That's how you do it. Not pretty. I don't care. I'm imagining it again. Oh, that's my name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jackpot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always finding a match in something. Aha! Got it. Get out of there. Better fit. You better work. Oh, yeah. Money. Yeah, a little bumper, a little roller, huh? Yeah. All right, so now we got to do the bumpers for the side. Bending jig in. Sorry about the messy shop. 
Oh, it's not too much. Oh, it's not too far. All right. Yeah, that was good. Ow. Oh, y'all didn't know I did Lionel trains too. more but these are post-war got a few pre-war Lionel trains all right so I got the little bumpers ready to be installed I'm just gonna drill a couple holes and, and put some screws in it yeah yeah that looks good huh those stakes on the side really set it off. That's gonna help you when you pull your boat onto the trailer. You know, it's gonna bounce the boat right right in there. Got, see how I got them bolted on? Got my little roller up front. Yeah, so, so I think she's pretty much done. Uh, it's gonna be a pro future project. We'll work on it here and there, add stuff to it, you know? take this wraith in and work on this uh trailer hitch so so yeah let's take it in the in the house all right all right so we're back in the workshop i put the boat project away for the day and uh we're in here gonna put this trailer hitch on see how it's sitting in there I just kind of got it through those sway bar holes got it all cleaned up I'm gonna get the axles like dropped back. I got this piece of aluminum. This is how I'm gonna do it. Kind of shorten things up for everybody so you're not drooling through the video like damn. Alright, alright, alright. Gonna get started, huh? Get popping. So yeah, I just got it cleaned up. You know, it was an extra, uh, I just, it would have been thrown away. So I grabbed it and just, I'm glad I saved it. It's coming handy. All right, all right. So I got all the holes drilled. I drilled the holes in the frame. I hated to do that, but I did. So I'm using these really tiny, tiny screws. The little servo screw. Use a three millimeter screw for this, and all right, all right. So we got it. Uh, we got it tapped and screwed in, Loctited in place. Going, uh, going with small screws and basically a lot of them. I didn't want to drill any big holes in my frame. I hated to even drill these in the frame. But this is how I'm going to do it. And, huh, iron clad it out. Yeah. It's going to work. And it don't look too bad. I like the way this hitch looks. It's tough looking. I'm going to get these axles back on. I'll show you what it looks like on the truck. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that looks good, huh? Looks pretty good. Look at that. Look at this. That thing ain't going nowhere, son. That thing ain't going nowhere. Where you going? Nowhere. <laughs> nowhere. <laughs> All right, got plenty of clearance whenever we flexing on the rocks. Got plenty of clearance. Huh? Yeah. All right, so we're going to finish up the trailer and uh, take it for a rip. Bingo! Found the ball for the trailer hitch, huh? So I, I knew I had it. I knew I had it somewhere. It was just hiding. So now we've got to come up with a hitch design for 
this ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this is what I'm going to use in this video for my ball. A threaded half inch bolt through this hitch. Just kind of nut and bolt it on there. But what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to do it in a future video because I, I, it's going to take some time for me to figure this out. I am going to use this piece of wood to mock up my ball design. I'm going to probably, I'm going to make it look real. I'm going to try to make it look real as I possibly can and work like a real ball works. So we're going to use that and I'm going to mock it up on this piece of wood. And then once I get it mocked up the way I want it and I know that it works, we're going to use a block of aluminum because this is my last big thick block of 7075 so uh, I'm gonna make it sit right on there like a real trailer hitch receiver huh yeah 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 I've been working on a trailer here uh, I've got it I've got it finalized basically before I put it together I wanted to show you guys what I did like I was saying I used a piece of a uh, hobby grade brass tubing with brass, larger brass tubes over it where the leaf spring connects the axle so that these clamps wouldn't like compress this really soft hobby tube. All right, I soldered the both, both sides, used washers as spacers, which I might change that. I might put a piece of pipe in there or something but I ended up using my Arma Granite tire since I've retired that truck. I basically turned it into a parts truck. Um, I decided not to use the Rustler wheels. One, these are uh, smaller than the Granite tires. I, I, so whenever you're like going over like a little bump, that the Granite tires actually worked a little bit better. So I think we're gonna go with the Granite tire. They have a 14 millimeter hex and it's an aluminum hex compared to the Traxxas plastic hex, composite hex. And it also has a little set screw. So I can tighten that Allen down, that grub screw, and keep everything where it needs to be. I threaded this quarter inch rod and my wheels should slide on with no problem. A pin will keep it in place, but I think that Allen would do just fine. Uh, gonna use these nuts yeah yeah uh, the only thing i'm worried about is like my frame flexes and like the leaf spring goes in or out it might bind up our drive shaft with which i did grease with some marine speed grease so i'm gonna throw the wheels on i'll show you what it looks like so yeah 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 those wheels they look good they look good on the boat uh i'm working on a a mount like a bow mount to hold the bow of the boat in place so it doesn't bang around and get messed up I used a piece of foam board to make the template and we're gonna cut it out of a piece of cutting board cool it looks pretty cool let's see what it looks like with the with the with the boat on it oh yeah 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 oh yeah that's perfect son look at that it's still sitting on the roller and it's sitting in the bumper Ooh. <laughs> yeah gotta love boat building all right, so I found this fabric tape that I had. We're going to use it to cover the boards with.
carpet on the running boards, which they actually turned out pretty good. <laughs> yeah we uh we finished her up we finished up the boat trailer while i was waiting for the carpet to dry the fabric to dry on the boards i went ahead and made up some some tail lights give it a little more scale look now whenever i trailer this boat we probably will kick up the rudder just to be safe so we can run you know wide open if we want but finished up the uh you know, I put a couple little reflectors on here. Let me take the boat off so you guys can see. Um, I got the carpet on. Carpet turned out pretty good. Got it trimmed up. Left a little overhang so it will sit on the sit on that little strike on the bottom of the boat. We got our axle finished up. I showed you guys that. The roller's done. The winch mount is done about putting this winch on there maybe right here Just thinking about it it's kind of big I want I kind of wanted to put it on the crawler but it's a I might put it on the boat trailer I don't know I don't think it needs a winch but it's all done it's finished up I'm gonna do in a later video I'm gonna do the defenders for the trailer and in the same video, we'll do the uh, the hitch that attaches to the ball that I showed you guys. So, so yeah, 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 yeah. She's all finished up, folks. She's all finished up. Now I do want to show you the balance. I've got the balance on the trailer perfect. It sits. It's uh, tongue heavy. Basically, tongue heavy when it's sitting without a boat, and it's tongue heavy when it sits with a boat but it's very light so two ounces of weight on my on my trailer hitch so that's perfect like if i were to slide the boat back where the tip of the boat is on this white thing it would actually tip up so i've got the balance perfect i placed the axles in the prime place something to think about if you guys are building your trailer put your boat on the trailer kind of move it around put your axle under there find your cg and uh so that it's just a little bit tongue heavy but uh you know not so tongue heavy that it's gonna rip the uh the trailer hitch off of your off of your truck so so yeah 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 she's all done you guys all done yeah like i said we're gonna work on it in later videos and next video i can't wait to do a boat launch so the next video will be the boat launch. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Hope it helps you out with your hobby. Tinker, test, and tune everything. Uh, Big B here with Ironclad RC. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell to get notified for future builds, future projects. As always... Thank you guys for watching.